Hello everyone, I'm Gil Tayar and I'll be your host for this here Cypress course. What is Cypress? It's a test automation tool similar to Selenium WebDriver, WebDriver.io, TestCafe and others. There's a lot of buzz around Cypress today and given the passionate community built around it, the buzz will probably be with us also in the future. We'll be learning the basics of this wonderful tool and giving you the ability to work and expand your knowledge around it. But why is this tool generating so much interest? Because it's different. It's different than the current king of the hill, which is Selenium. It's not better, because it's very difficult to be better than Selenium or its derivatives like WebDriver.io. It's different. Why is it different? Because it was built by front-end developers for front-end developers. And this can be seen by some design decisions that were taken when building this tool. First of all, it's a JavaScript-only tool. Selenium works in multiple languages, Java, Python, c -sharp, and yes, also JavaScript. Cypress? Only JavaScript. This is very natural for front-end developers, as front-end developers write only in JavaScript. Second, this is Chrome only. You can't run your test in Firefox or Safari or IE. Definitely not in IE. Chrome only. Again, natural for front-end developers as they have long understood that all modern browsers today are mostly compatible. And from their point of view, you test in one browser, you test in all of them. Yes, yes, I know there are exceptions, but for that, you can write a small set of Selenium tests just to check the edge cases. Third, this is not an automation tool. It's a testing tool. You can't just write a script that automates things. It has to be a test. And by the way, the test runner is only Mocha. Why this insistence on tests? Because that is what they wanted to build, a testing tool for front-end developers. And it not only comes with a test runner, but also with mocking capabilities and lots of validation rules, all geared towards testing front-end applications. Fourth, it's fast. Developers don't like test suites that takes hours to run. They want a tool that runs their tests on their apps in a few minutes. The way they made it fast is to make the test code itself run in the browser, just like the app code itself. Once the test code runs in the browser, it can do automation things like clicking, finding elements, and getting the text of an element much faster than if they run out of the process of the browser. So yes, Cypress was built for front-end developers, but that doesn't mean that test automation engineers can't benefit from it. They can, and they should. It's a wonderful tool to use as long as you are aware of its limitations. Only JavaScript, only Chrome, and only Mocha. But it's time to stop talking, time to start showing. The next lesson will be all about installing Cypress. And like everything about Cypress, you'll see that it's easy peasy.